Now we've all heard of halal organ harvesting, where the organs of Uyghur Muslims are sold to the highest bidders in the Middle East by the Chinese communist regime. So it shouldn't come as a surprise when we find out that the Chinese are now profiting from the hair of the Uyghurs who have been detained in Chinese concentration camps. Now the Chinese are actually not the first to profit from the hair of concentration camp detainees. We know that this actually happened in Nazi Germany. A report back in 2009 details that, that a German car parts supplier was accused of using the hair of from at least 40,000 Auschwitz death camp prisoners to make textiles at its factories in Nazi occupied Poland during the Second World War. China is the largest exporter of hair in the world, supplying more than 80% of hair based products. Now the increase in hair production corresponds with the opening of the concentration camps. Between 2009 and 2018, the market for hair products went from 100 million US dollars per year to 1.8 billion dollars by the end of 2019. So you can see that this is another way that the Chinese regime profits off the byproduct of these detainees. For Uyghur women to have long hair is an important part of Uyghur culture and traditions. The factories that process these hair products have former detainees from concentration camps work in these factories as forced labor and reports tell us that they work anywhere between 20 to 22 hours a day for 70 US dollars. So they're not just selling the hair of the Uyghurs but they're also forcing Uyghurs to process the hair which is just sickening. A classic example of of kicking someone while they're down. According to testimonials of at least 10 female former concentration camp detainees, they've said that their heads were shaved as soon as they entered into those concentration camps. These detainees put their heads through a hole and they don't actually see the barber that is shaving their heads. Boycott any hair products that are made in China. Share this video if you are against slave labor and do your bit to stop this modern day 21st century genocide, this Uyghur Holocaust, this Muslim Holocaust, which is unbelievable, sickening, horrific to say the least.